with the kids back to school and not to mention the elephant in the room, the rising cost of everything. We thought we'd give you a few delicious dishes that can be made quickly and most importantly, cost effectively. Not just because of the food, but because they can all be done in the microwave and often underappreciated appliance in the kitchen. First up, microwave mac and cheese. For this, all you're going to need is a mug per serving, half a cup of macaroni, half a cup of water, half a cup of finely grated cheddar, and of course, some salt and pepper. So place your macaroni in the mug, you cover that with half a cup of water, and then make sure you get yourself a plate and put the mug on top of that plate. That is if any water spills over, it will be caught right here. Once you've done that, you put this into the microwave for one minute on high power. It will rise slightly, maybe half a cup at most. Once it's out, remove the mug and make sure you stir it. And try to make sure if there's any macaroni that's sticking to the bottom that you just loosen that with a good stir as well. And then we're gonna repeat this process five more times. So once finished, remove it from the microwave. Be sure to be careful of the hot plate and the mug. Still give it a nice stir. Then you add your cheese on top nicely. Oh, a bit much there, but you know me, I'm overzealous. <laughs> and some salt and some pepper, just for seasoning. And then you stir that until it's completely covered. And don't worry about the mess, it's all part of the process. Once it's stirred and covered, you leave that to sit for a while and then you enjoy. Up next is my personal favorite, microwave mug pizza. Now I know it doesn't sound as good as it tastes, but trust me, it is delicious and it's very easy. Perfect for a working from home day. All you're gonna need for this is four tablespoons of flour, a pinch of baking powder, a pinch of salt, three tablespoons of milk, a tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of tomato sauce, one generous tablespoon of shredded cheese. I prefer mozzarella, but it's all fine. Pepperoni is optional. And also half a teaspoon of Italian herbs. Basil or oregano will work. Mix the flour, baking powder together and add a pinch of salt in a microwavable mug. Add in the milk and then the oil and mix it further. There might be some lumps in there, but that is okay. Spoon in the tomato sauce and spread it around the surface of the batter. Sprinkle on the grated cheese, dried herbs. Microwave for one to two minutes or until it rises up and the toppings are bubbling. Once cooked, remove from the microwave before enjoying. A nationally enjoyed snack is crisps. We love them. When you've got your friends over for drinks, crisps. Something with that lovely sandwich, crisps. Sitting in front of a film, crisps. They are somewhat of a staple item, but can we make our own? And how do we make our own? And can we do it in a microwave? Of course. This snack is super simple. All you need is a potato, a bowl of cold water, some seasoning. I'm going with salt and pepper. Of course, a chopping board, a knife, and please be careful with this. A plate, and of course, your microwave. So thinly slice your potato, and the trick here is to Cut them as thin as possible. And it also means that you'll get more crisps. <laughs> and then what we're gonna do once we've done this is we are going to rinse them in cold water. Get that starchy feeling off of them. And if you have time, it's a good idea to leave them to soak for a couple of minutes. And then we are going to put them onto a dry towel to make sure that we can dry them off before we put them onto our plate, ready for the microwave. And of course, some seasoning, so we've got some nice flavor on them as well. And just like that, a few dishes that you can enjoy in your microwave. And if you haven't got one, we'll drop a link below. They are truly one of the hidden gifts of the kitchen.